To draw straight lines, we may use the line item. If we click on the line icon in the content item bar and then on a point on the page, it will create an oblique line that could be modified later. If we already have an idea of the size or direction that our line should have, we can click on the line icon and then click on a point on the page, hold down the button and drag up to what will be the final end of the line. In the particular case of the line element, we have coordinates for the initial end and for the final end. Using these parameters, we indicate not only the position, but also the direction and the size of the line. For example, if we want a horizontal line, we'll make sure that their position on the vertical axis is the same at both ends. Similarly, if we want a vertical line, we'll match their values on the horizontal axis. As we have already done with the figures, we can define the appearance of its line choosing a color, a line type, and the thickness. The anti-aliasing field allows the line to appear better defined. Shapes may be added to the line, such as arrowheads at both in the beginning and at the end. EasyProf can draw complex shapes using the polygon content item. To do so, we click on the polygon icon on the content item bar and after that, click on a spot on the page to start drawing. Click when we need to insert a vertex. To close the shape, click on the first point. We can also close a figure by double-clicking the point where the last vertex will be placed. You can edit the figure once we have created it by double-clicking on it. When the outline turns red, we can drag the points to modify the angles. The points on the blue lines let us create curved lines. We can remove a vertex by double-clicking on it. The properties of the polygon are like those of other figures. We can select a background color, a border color, line type, and thickness, as well as softening the figure outline. With EasyProf, we can also draw complex curvy linear shapes. To do so, click on the curved line icon in the content item bar, then click on a spot on the page to start drawing. Click on each point where we want to create a curve. To close the shape at the end, click on the first point. There is no need to close the figure. In this case, to finish our drawing, we only have to double-click on any point. We can edit the figure by double-clicking on it. We can drag the points in the red contours to modify the angles. The points in the blue lines let us modify the curves. To delete a curve, we only have to double-click on it. As in all figures and shapes, properties allow us to choose a background color, a border color, line type, and thickness, as well as softening the figure outline.